Hi, it's me, Elsa. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, I'm basically here again in reference to my life story. Uh, in reference to my 15-year-old, he was in a group home in Miami Gardens, Florida. Uh, the first time they actually removed him. Well, the second time they actually removed him from me. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, he uh, basically recorded um, a lot of um, bullying that he was going through. He was sending it to me. He also recorded um, him fighting a boy with staff not uh, being around. Staff was nowhere to be found. He also, um, you know... There's this bus on the uh, shelters, on the uh, group home, the group homes grounds that um, in that group home, he also recorded um, the guys and the girls getting inappropriately, if you know what I mean. And he also recorded um, him and the other kids in the group home smoking pot in that same bus. Again, no staff was around. Uh, this specific group home, uh, the first group home, the first time uh, he had a, kept texting me about a specific boy bullying him. And I would call the staff there and, you know, it would be as if I'm the problem. And, you know, my son would tell me, um, you know, how the piece, it was a, a guy that was there. He would basically portray, it was a worker that was there that he would portray like he was the homeboys of the kids to get them to know them on a deeper level. And I was like, at the end of the day, he's not your homeboy, he's your staff, he works there. So that's what I told my son. So I don't know what that's about. Um, he also said something about one of the guys there looks at other girls in the group home inappropriately and the second thing he told me was, um, the second thing he told me was, the girl, um, the, the boy was, of course, bullying him, and he wound up sending me a recording of him fist fighting the boy. And the boy was, I believe, 18. So, they basically um, arrested him because I guess he kept bullying everybody else as well in the group home. Um, the second time he told me, he said, Mom, uh, they're stealing from me in here. And I'm like, what do you mean they're stealing from you? They're still in my clothes and all the nice things I had. I don't have it anymore. And someone told me that a specific kid that keeps bullying me has it. And I was like, oh, okay. So did you tell the staff? So I reached out to Tiffany Woods, which was the C -E C CFCE worker at the time. And she's still the CFCE worker. Uh, but she's actually now in management. So... Um, my, I told her, and she said that she was going to take care of it. And I also called the group home, and that was a no-brainer, so I just left it like that and reached out to who I had to reach out to when it came to, like, CFCE and the people in charge. CFCE is Children's Family Enrichment Center. So, um, yeah, my son, uh, uh, wind up sending me uh, the picture he found on Instagram 
of 